Hello guys and welcome to another video tutorial in GIMP. Today in GIMP we'll be making a really cool effect, um, commonly, commonly known as the plexus effect. Um, this effect is usually made in motion design, but um, I've replicated the similar effect in GIMP. Um, I also like to call it triangles, nice and simple. Um, so yeah, so let's get started. So open up GIMP and we'll make a new image. Usual size, doesn't really matter. And first of all, we want to get our paint bucket tool put in black. Then we're going to make a new layer. And then we're going to go over to our foreground and background color. And we're going to select our color for the tutorial. For the tutorial, sorry. Um, the first color, we're going to pick... Um, Um, let's go for like a, let's go for, yeah, an electric blue for our first one, and for our second one, just click here to get the same electric blue, and then we're going to go, you see where the lines, the centre of the two lines meet, we're just going to follow that line and click somewhere in the darker area. Maybe a bit lighter than that, like that. And there we have our two colours for today's tutorial. And then we're going to get our paintbrush tool. And we're going to get a, not a completely hard brush, but a reasonably soft brush like this. So the second hardness that usually comes with GIMP. And we're going to make the size 20. 20 pixels, you should usually have that as the default. The next thing, this is the key part, is we're going to be starting the plexus effect. So the first thing you want to do is you just want to click, click here, and click. As you see, that would make a triangle. And you're just going to go around the canvas, making as many triangles as you would like. And what you've got here is just a um, dots, just dots really. The next step in the tutorial, um, we'll be making this um, the plexus, the lines joined to them. And I'll show you a cool technique in GIMP that can do that for you. <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, so the next step, make a new layer. And we're going to drag that layer under. So I'm going to just name the layers just for the sake of the tutorial. Make it nice and simple for everyone. So we have a dots layer. And then our lines layer. So for the lines layer, we're just going to put that under as I said. And we're going to use our background color that we made before. We're also going to keep the same size brush but change the same type of brush but change the size to 8 pixels. Now what you want to do is you want to click in the center or we might make it a bit smaller depending on the size of your original dot so I'm going to use 5 because I use pretty small dots and we're going to click on one of them in the center of them and holding shift click like that and that makes a line it's a nice straight line and you're going to go around, click, drag down, click again, and you're going to make as many triangles in the dots you've created as possible. So they don't all need to be connected like these ones, they can be separate like this and we'll join them back up for the final few steps. and you just want to keep on going and obviously this looks great in any banners you're creating um, 
etc. And if you've got a few spare dots left over, for example this one, <coughs> excuse me, like for example this one, um, we'll fit them in somewhere soon. And don't forget, triangles can be made into quite unusual shapes, etc. Okay, so now we have several for triangles. The next step is we just want to join them all together, making more triangles, like so. And you want it to look really nice. You don't want it to look shabby or anything. You want everything to look really nice. Make sure all your lines are nice and straight. Don't just draw with your mouse holding shift. It's the best way to do that. Like this. You can use that thing to make a nice pinpoint here. Along with there. Like so. like that and as you can see the effect is starting to turn out really really nice and and don't just join the lines you have to it's really important that you, that you think about where the where the lines are going to go don't just go like go like that and then like up here and then a note down here because yeah that looks okay but think like utilize all the space you've got like for this you can just go down here again and that's connected that's made another triangle so think about where you're gonna put all your lines before you just Put them where you think that that looks good. You have to think about it. Like you want to make as many different cool shapes and stuff as possible. This is probably the most time consuming part of this effect, but the end result is really, really nice. Like here, I've just made a really nice triangle effect. And utilizing this one point I've made just three triangles that's that's the really nice thing that you can do with this so once we've got this we've got this abnormal shape here yeah it doesn't look very nice so next thing you want to do is you want to duplicate the lines and duplicate the dots we do not want to merge them down yet oh sorry don't duplicate it merge down sorry merge those down so we have got first dots and lines like so then you want to duplicate this then get your move tool by hitting M or just selecting it over here and move it over here so you want to utilize as much of the canvas as possible like so the next step is again Duplicate it again and move it more. And there we go. And you might need to make a few more um, dots. So after you've got all this, you want to merge it all down, create a new layer put this layer under and we're going to join the dots again um, I might speed this process up okay so after you've joined all the dots we've got a really really nice effect going here and as you've seen here I've just improvised and just imagined there's a dot here so yeah it looks nice 
and as you might have seen I duplicated our dots and lines um, again just to fill in this space down here so the next step is we're going to add a few layer effects to our image so we're going to merge this down again so we just got one layer sorry liners that'll do we're going to duplicate this layer and place this layer under we're going to call this blur just to make it really simple for everyone then we're going to go to filters blur gaussian blur and we want to blur this by heaps we want pretty big blur like 30 and that looks really cool duplicate this a few times maybe and don't get you've got the opacity tool like that merge them all down and here we have our plexus effect thank you very much for watching this manual graphics tutorial and i'll catch you in my next video by the way if you've got any suggestions for a uh, next tutorial please write in the comments below and um, I'll try and sort it out for you. So thanks for watching. Bye.